We talked about her vision for Jack Mel, her vision to help the artisans. She's a great artist and also a community leader. And we had some dreams, but we didn't think they would really happen. And now today, um, Pascal is a leader of the Artisan Business Network's depot in Jack Mel. And her business is called Jack Mel Craft. And in addition to being an artist, she's now also a businesswoman and learning business skills and um, using her abilities as a community leader and as an artist to help other artisans go into business. Voila. Founder of the Arts and Business Network in Port-au-Prince, and I'm also the owner of Pathways Haiti. ABN um, Port-au-Prince is one of the three depots funded by the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund. And some of the services that we use is creating a bridge between the local artisans and the global market in the U.S., in Asia, and in Europe. For example, if an artisan is making those raises and would like to sell them to a company like Macy's, we process the purchase orders, um, we create deposit um, paperwork, we do quality control, we pack, we ship, and we maintain an open line of communication between the artisans and the buyers. We also communicate with the designers so we know what the global market is looking for. We coordinate their visits to Port-au-Prince or to other cities in Haiti so they can collaborate with the artisan and offer them new techniques, new designs, and um, overall advice and guidance on how to grow their businesses so they can become sustainable over time and really make an impact in their communities. It literally would not exist without the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund. And um, it's a program that is running through June and then it will be sustainable beyond that through the business that we're, that we're building. Yeah. Whenever a customer in the U.S. or abroad, anywhere else, purchases a product, that product helps feed a family of eight or ten people. So by purchasing a product made in Haiti, a handcraft um, item, you're supporting communities. You're helping send children to school. You're helping the community get access to medical care, and they get. They, they feel very proud that they're able to do so without begging. It's not a mentality of handing down, it's a mentality of teaching them how to fish so they can always have 